We're going to do Psalms today. Yes, My God is the God of all seasons. Yes, oh, yes. Psalm chapter 1, verse 2. Let, let, let's start with verse 1. Blessed is the man that walking not in the counsel of what? The own godly. No stand in the way of sinners. No sit in the seat of the scornful. They are on godly counselors <coughs> in the world. In your neighborhood. Even among your past sea. <laughs> Is that right? Big time on your past sea, ungodly. <laughs> you hang up with them. Is that right? God is working to stir your mind towards him. But they are kind of, kind of minded folks. Ungodly. Carnal and minded folks. That way you gotta choose your friends. You understand? You have to learn to choose your friends. Don't choose friends because they are of the Jones's family with wealth. Hello. Don't choose them because they have material stuff. That's right. Come on now. They are, I don't want to go into full detail, but you know why, what type of friends that can lead you to God yeah. and friends that can also lead you to hell. Amen. Amen. Hell. Amen. It's a powerful verse. Blessed is that man that walked back in the council of the ungodly. And what would the ungodly lead you? What would the ungodly lead you? Into place of hell. Place of troubles. Place of substance abuse. Places of substance abuse. Hello, con contaminating your minds, your body, your soul. Hello. So seek to God in all of your ways and knowledge God. And he will send you friends and relationship and come on now, godly people. Is that right? Yes. Amen. The second verse says, but his butts, his what? His delights. It's in the law of the law. Yes. What is delight? His love. His love. God be love. Love, his delight is in the law of the law. You, 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 you seek after things that you love. The scripture says, where, where your treasure is is what? Where your heart is. Delight yourself in the Lord because you know He has some treasure for you. Yes, is that right? Yes. Where your treasure is, there where you what? Your, your heart, heart is. is. Delight yourself in the Lord. Yes. Where your treasure of health, yes. your treasure of peace, 
Is that right? Yes. Your treasure of security. Yes. You know, your treasure of well-being. Yes. Your treasure of material things. Yes. Your treasure of wisdom. Yes. Your treasure of knowledge. Yes. Of understanding. Yes. Is that right? right? Your treasure of parental foundation. Ah, come on now. Is that right? Yes. Parental what? Foundation yes. for yourself. And for those that are coming out of your loins, yes. your DNA, yes. somebody shout, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Wherever your, your treasure is there where your heart should be. Yes. Therefore, delight yourself in the Lord. Yes. Love the Lord with the all of your heart, with all of your mind, yes. with all of your soul. Yes. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Where your treasure is, hey, devil, what your heart should be. Delight. Oh, I'm taking you somewhere this morning. Delight. But the delight is in the law of the law. And in his law, dwell what? He meditate what? Day and night. Day and night. That's the instruction that God gave to Joshua. Yeah. The very particular instruction God gave to Joshua after the death of Moses. And God elevated Joshua to lead his people to the promised land. Yes. One of the first instructions God gave to Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 Oh yeah, do not allow this book of the law to depart from your mouth. Meditate in this book by day and by night. Then you will you will make your ways prosperous and you will have a good success. You will what? Make your ways prosperous and you will have good success. Meditate in the word of God. Delight yourself in the word of God. Delight yourself in the Lord. Somebody shall say hallelujah. And you will make ooh, glory to God. Your way is success. Ah, listen now. I'm taking you to Joshua 1. Let me show you something. You will make. He said you. The Lord just gave me something I want to share yes. with you. And I end up be hard. Somebody, let me take my time and teach you a lesson. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will what? You will make All right. uh, your way what? Success. Uh, somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say glory to Glory. God. Yeah, you will what? Uh, make, make your way. Your way Success. Yes. The Lord, let me look for a quote and cut and read it directly from the chapter. Yes. yes. Then we can you you understand what I'm taking you. Somebody said I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And highly favored. Oh yeah, Joshua one, Joshua one verse eight says, "This book of the law shall now depart out of your mouth." But thou shalt meditate there in day and night, that thou may observe to do according to all that is written there. Yes. For then thou shalt then thou shalt make thy way what? prosperous. You will make you have a part to play. Amen. You will what? make your what? your ways. Prosper, and then thou shalt have good success. Meditate wherever your your treasure is. There, where your heart should be. If your treasure is with God, then your heart should be on Him. You should delight yourself in Him. Somebody shout, say hallelujah. When we talking about treasure, yeah. some folks just only think about the treasure of money. Yeah. Money is just one aspect of life journey. Is that right? Can, can I repeat that once again? 
money is just one aspect of things that God allocated for our survivors. Yes. Is that right? right? But you need some good health. Yes. You need some good wisdom. Yes. You need some good understanding. Yes. You need protection from hey. evil forces. Right. You right. need protection against criminals. Is that right? You need protection against sickness and diseases. You need protection against plagues that come upon the land. Somebody shout say hallelujah. You need protection against contaminated food, contaminated waters, contaminated drain. You need, come on now. So yes, wherever, wherever, wherever your treasure comes from, there where your heart should be. So the scripture says about Delilah, delight yourself in the law. Because your treasure, neighbor, all of your treasures lies with God. No, no, don't, don't, no, 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 no. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Somebody shout say hallelujah. Don't get it twisted. That all oh, my education gave it to me. Don't get it twisted. All oh, my position gave it to me. God can take away your strength and you can't go to war. Somebody shall say, Praise the Lord. Oh, yeah, He can take away your strength and your education can't give it to you. Somebody shall say, Praise the Lord. That what He says unto us, in all of your way, do I acknowledge Him. Or oh, what? Oh, I, I, yesterday, let me tell you, I'm just giving a testimony here. Yesterday, I, I was a little bit shaking. I planned to take Sandra out yesterday for her birthday dinner. Then I went to service the car to service the car at the gas station yesterday, and I heard a, a clanking noise under the car, and I got kind of freaked out. It's snowing out there, and I don't let the girl on the highway with the car come on out. When they come to my, my traveling, I'm a professional. I love my car to be in the top shape before I get on the highway. I don't let it get strong, strong there. Is that right? Somebody said, praise the Lord. But I acknowledge the Lord immediately, the Lord said, go. So it took away that fear. In order to go away, what? Acknowledge him. Instantaneously, when I heard that sound, I turned to the Lord in prayer. And the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me. I hear you sure it does. And said, Go, all is well. Somebody shall say, Hallelujah. Where your treasure is, because if you do not have relationship with the one that owns your treasure, who the Lord talking to here? If you do not have a relationship with the one that can supply your treasure, if you do not have a relationship with the one that can open doors for you that no man can close, hallelujah, the one that can close doors, those that you pray to God to be closed, those that you pray to God, all these shit to be shut, because it, it, have, those, it have been messing with your mind. It has been messing with your spirit. Some of the shouts say hallelujah. It has been disturbing your peace. Many times, or many years, or many months, you are praying to God to shut certain door, and God step in. He can step in at any time to close door that no man can open. To open door, come on now, that no man can close. You have to keep your mind on from whence coming your treasure. Ah, who the Lord talking to this? I'm taking you somewhere this morning. Somebody shall say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Do not be no, no, do not be caught up with folks around you. Blessed is the man that walking not in what? In the counsel of the ungodly. You, you have to be careful who your who is your counsel. Where your counsel your constant word comes from. You gotta, you gotta learn how to separate your seculars from your spiritual. Amen. Is that right? Is that right? Amen. Yes, yes. When you are 
in your secular position, in your secular setting, because uh, there where you get the God open door for you to bring in the bread and the butter. You, you are giving to, to Caesar what is Caesar, but make sure that your, your number one concern spirit come from God. Amen. Because God wisdom, God wisdom supersede <laughs> secular knowledge. Amen. Does that make sense? Amen. Can I repeat that to you? Yes. God wisdom does what? Supersede what? Yes. Secular knowledge. Amen. Secular understanding. Yes. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Your spiritual mind can take you deeper and faster than your secular education. Oh, the Lord talking to here. Can I repeat that once again? Your spiritual directives that come from God. Your spiritual insight. He gave you spiritual eyesight that you can even see in the Africa. You can see through the human body. You can see through the dark, the dark places. Is that right? He gave you spiritual discernment that you can discern what the enemy tried to trick you into. Can I repeat that once again? Because your focus is on God with your delights on spirit, but 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 his delight is in the law, the word of the Lord, and in his law dwell he what he meditate by day and by night. Thou will God will keep you in perfect peace, who my stays well on the law. He will keep you in perfect peace as long your mind stays on him. Delight yourself in the law. As I often tell you, the peace of God does not mean the absence of trouble. The peace of God does not mean the absence of, of challenges. Or the absence of obstacles. The peace of God gave you the fortitude to weather in the storm. Right. To go through the trouble. Right. To go through the challenges. Right. Hallelujah. It gave you strength to move in places that others have failed to move. To cause you to stay where others are getting up. Because you know God is telling you all will be well at the end. He will show you the light at the end of the tunnel through his peace, through your connection with him, through your meditating to him. Somebody shall say hallelujah. The peace of God doesn't mean it. Doesn't mean the absence of obstacles. Uh, it tells you to go through it because all things work together for the good of us. Of those that love the Lord and those that are called according to his purpose. So the enemy may think that they are doing you evil. They come on now. The wishes may think that they are come on now in pricking their, their pains and affliction on you. But what they don't understand, God is using that attack to make you strong. God is using, come on now, God is using that so-called witchcraft power to enlighten your mind, to know their secret, to bring, come on now, to know about their secret, because you cannot fight an enemy that you don't know of. You cannot fight an enemy that you don't see. So God allowed that mess to educate you to their tricks. To educate you to their activities, uh -huh. to come on now, yeah. to reveal their secret to you, right. and when you get to know them, you identify them by their fruit. That's right, that's, that's, true. that's, true. that's true. And as you identify them by their fruit, and God said, I told you, you yeah, wait. Right. Uh, somebody shout, say hallelujah. I told you, just wait. You're going to know what they are all about. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. And one of these days, they will be coming down at your feet because there is nothing else left with them to find you. I want to have this review to you. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. So you have to 
each and every day of your life. Uh, uh, each and every day of your life. Put what's there in your mind to keep your mind on the Lord. God will keep you in perfect peace if your mind what? stays on Him. Somebody shout, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Is that right? Have you tried? You know where we're coming from here? Is anybody here that understands where we are going? God will keep you in perfect peace despite of the challenges. Amen. I will repeat that to you once again. Yes. Having the peace of God in your heart does not mean the absence of challenges. That's right. Does not mean the absence of troubles. That's right. Amen. Is that right? Many, the many are the affliction of the righteous. Yeah. But God what? Deliver the righteous from all of the affliction. Yeah. Is that right? Therefore, you have to know within yourself, exercise within yourself, have a, a, a con containing reservoir in you that will remind you every day, look to where come, where's coming your help. That's right. <laughs> is that right? That's right? Look to where come your help. Yes. There is a reason that David says the word, because there's nothing that you and myself went through that David did not experience. That's is that right? This man was leading, leading us some valuable, valuable literature, mm -hmm. from valuable experiences. He said, "I look up to the hill continuously from whence coming my help. I look to the hill from whence coming my treasure, mm -hmm. my treasure of protection, my treasure of healing, my treasure of deliverance." Somebody shall say, "Hallelujah!" Hallelujah. Therefore, I delight. Myself in the law of the Lord, and he his law do what he I meditate day and night. Cause I realize that those pictures that were before me, those godly men and godly women that were before me, when they applied this teaching in their life, walking with God, worshiping him. Somebody shall say glory to God glory. when they apply the same systems in their life. Right. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Despite of what they went through, yeah. the peace of God were with them. Is that right? right? The peace of God were with them because yeah. they delighted themselves in the Lord. Yeah. They cleave unto the Lord. Say never cleave unto the Lord. Hallelujah. When they talk about cleave, you got to attach, you got to attach yourself to the Lord. The white on rice, you got to attach yourself to Him by day and by night. Hallelujah. Before you rise up in the morning, or when you rise up in the morning from your bed, acknowledge Him. Give Him His praise. Even if you do not have a time on your clock or your watch to go down on your knees, take a second and say, Lord, I thank you. This is the day that the Lord has made. I believe I will rejoice and be glad in this day because I acknowledge my God in my hallelujah. He will direct my path this day. He will remove every obstacle out of my way this day. He will remove the spirit of sadness out of my spirit this day. He will remove the spirit of weakness out of my mind this day. He will remove the spirit of anger. He will remove the spirit of anger out of my heart this day. He will remove the spirit of frustration out of my life this day. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will what? rejoice. Say, neighbor, I intend to rejoice in the Lord every day of my life. Because He told me if my mind stays on Him, He will bless me with peace, He will bless me with joy, with happiness. I just believe we're here under the sound of my heart. Somebody shout, say, Hallelujah. Yeah. If I keep my mind 
if I just keep my mind on him. Uh, uh, don't, don't just stand there and sing a song. It's me. It's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. God is telling you how your prayer can be answered. But say, neighbor, God is telling you how your prayers can be answered. Delight yourself in the Lord. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Delight yourself in the Lord. Then, then you get to the place now that when you are communicating with, when you are communicating with, with kind of mind, folks, your mind will be one or two steps ahead of them. Oh, my God. Who the Lord talking to here? I'm not saying things to you that we don't experience. Your minds will be one or two feet ahead of them. Somebody shout, say hallelujah. Because these great men and women that God uh, set before us to be our example, these are some of the things that they exercise in their life because they went through themselves. So this writer is saying here the third verse, and this is what happened for those, this is what happened for those that delight themselves in the Lord. They shall be like tree planted by what? By the rivers of water. Is that right? They shall be like trees, what? Planted by the river of water that bring forth his what? His fruit in his season. You may not understand why, why God is giving attention to trees that are planted by the river of water. So trees that are planted by the river of water has roots. Roots that are dipped into the river. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, somebody say praise the Lord. There are trees that are planted in desolate that do not have water to replenish. Is that right? To replenish. So that they die out. But trees that are planted by the river of water, in other words, God considers himself to be the river of life. Oh, glory. Is that right? He considered himself to be that river of life. And he said, I'm planting you by myself. Say, neighbor, God is planting you by his side. Oh, glory to God. is planting you by his side. By his side. Because where God is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of God is, there is liberty. There are blessings. There are healing. Somebody shall say hallelujah. There are blessings in his presence. There are blessings in his hands. Somebody shall say I'm blessed and highly favored. When you are, when you are planted. Uh, I'm taking you somewhere this morning. When you are planted by uh, the river. Yes. Uh, right. Somebody say I'm planted. I'm planted. Mm. When you are planted, when you are planted by the rivers yes. of water, and yeah, you ought to be able to bear fruits even in the drought season right. because you are planted by that river of water. You become like a tree of life. The scripture says that the tree of life bears 12 months of fruit every year, okay. every month. All right. Every month there's another fruit. So when God takes you to a place, you understand, I'm taking you somewhere here. Uh, can I live on your mind a little bit All right. this morning? Can I? Can I live on your mind? I'm taking you somewhere that you and I have never been before. Can I live on your mind to a place? Somebody say, I'm going to a place. Is that the neighbor? God is taking you to a place this morning. Is that right? Because if you know of yourself now to be planted by the river of water, is that right? You don't expect to see any drought season anymore. 
Oh, oh, the Lord. Uh, this is a prophetic word for you. Say, neighbor, this is a prophetic word for you. Say, you are planted by the river of water. You don't expect to see drought season anymore. It brings you to a place where the river bed will never go dry. Oh, good the Lord. Say, neighbor, God told me to tell you this morning, your river bed will never go dry. Come on, shake hands with somebody. Say, neighbor. God told me to come on, shake hands with somebody. Say, neighbor. God told me to tell you, your river bed will never, never again go dry. Because you are planted, you are planted by him. You, you, you delighted yourself in him. You have become a delightful person. You have become a delightful brother. You have become a delightful sister. Yeah. 
and whatsoever he doeth shall what? Prosper. Shall prosper. Amen. Even in the winter, your leaf will not fall. That's right. Is that right? Hallelujah. In the winter, we see, we see leaf falling of trees. Amen. But God said, when you are, when He plant you by His rivers of water, a winter has no power to, to call your leaf to fall. Right. The you. leaf will still be fresh. Amen. You have become an evergreen, you, evergreen tree. Is that right? Amen. The desert don't have no power right. to bring down your leaves, right. to weather your leaves. Yes. Is that right? Yes, right. The desert, the, the, the summer season don't have power well. to cause your leaves to fall. Yes, Lord. God, it took them for freshness, yes. refreshing, at yes. all season. Yes. Somebody shout, say hallelujah. hallelujah. You yes. become, you become an all-terrain vehicle, yes, all-terrain person. Yes, you survive in the season. Okay. You survive and prosper in any season. Right. You survive and prosper in the winter. You survive and prosper in the summer, in the spring, in the fall, hallelujah, in the dry season, in the rainy rain season. You survive alone you are living here in the flesh upon this earth. Right. God said he blessed you for all seasons. Say neighbor, God is blessing you right now for all seasons. I just believe uh, under the sound of my God. Say neighbor, God told me to tell you he is blessing you for all seasons. Your leave will never go dry where the animal. Somebody shouts it. to preach this morning and the Holy Ghost said God will give it to you in the morning right. and I woke up this morning that way he gave me the preach to so tell my people I'm blessing them Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm planting you by the river of water continue to delight delight yourself in him somebody shall say hallelujah practice to lay aside every weight and every sin that may come between you and him. Rather to lay them aside. Because you are you are no more of yourself. You now belong to the good Lord. Say neighbor, you now belong to the good Lord. Somebody shall say hallelujah. Every every blessing, every blessing in the book belongs to you now. Say neighbor, every blessing in the word of God belongs to you. You see, if I were you, the whole this whole week. This whole week I will be reading Deuteronomy 28. Yes. 28. Hallelujah. If, if I were you, I would be reading the first half. The first half of Deuteronomy 28 and claim and claim the blessing. Claim the blessing. God, you told me that every blessing in your book now belongs to me. Somebody shall say hallelujah. Somebody say glory to God. I, if I were you, I would read the first half of Deuteronomy. You don't have to read the whole book. Just, just read the first 15 verses or the first 10 verses and you will see all the blessing there. And God told me to tell this congregation that under the sound of my voice, those blessings belong to us. Somebody shouts it, I'm blessed. I'm highly blessed. I'm favored and happy I'm blessed and highly favored. Like, I'm gonna leave and I go yeah. try it again. All right. You may not have made us a dollars in the bank, right. but you will have your heavy strength. Amen. The only Lord that can do it here. Say, neighbor, you will have your heavy strength. Your children will have their heavy strength. You will have God in your protecting you and your family. Wherever you are, God is. 
the blessing, pressing, the pressing with you. Yes. Somebody shout say hallelujah. hallelujah. The traveling grace will yes. follow us. The protected grace will follow us. Right. The light of rain will continue to fall. Everything we desire will come to pass. Somebody shout say hallelujah. hallelujah. You see, you see, every good desire comes from the Lord. Is that what the Bible says? Psalm 37 verse 4. Somebody let tell them where I'm just about to close. Psalm 37 verse 4 read in the name of Jesus verse 4 says, Delight thou save also in the Lord and he shall give thee what? The desire of what? Of your heart. Can I repeat that once again? Delight what? Your said in the Lord. And what happened? He will what? Give you what? The desire of your heart. You see, the first set of blessings are blessings that are generally, generally given to godly folks. Is that right? Generally for godly children. He pronounced it upon us. Now, the second the second set of blessings are our our meditation and request to him. Right. It's your own creativities. Yes. Uh, he don't get it. All right. We just talk about you being planted by the river of water. Yes. Are you getting the message? Yes. Are you getting the message? Yes. We're talking about the first set of blessings, that generalized blessings yes. that he placed upon his children from the date of creation. Is that right? Uh -huh. From the date of creation. Is that right? Uh -huh. But now you, you, you have your individual request. Yes. You have your personal yes. request. Yes. Oh, the Lord talking to you here. Uh -huh. Is that right? Uh -huh. You have your personal request. Things, things that only you and the Holy Ghost knows about. Things that you purpose in your hearts to do in a vineyard. Things that you purpose in your heart to do for somebody, yeah, right. to do for your loved one. Things that you purpose in your heart, it will between you and God, yes. to do even for yourself. Yes. God said, I will what? I long you continue to delight. Yes, delight thyself also in the Lord. And he shall give thee what the desire of town heart. Commit what thou way unto the Lord. Trust also in him. And he shall what? Bring it to pass. He shall bring your desire to pass. Because it is your personal request. It is your personal desire. Somebody shall say hallelujah. It is your, come on now. It is your personal desire. It is your personal need. He said, I will honor your word. Although it was not in my book, but I will create it for you. I will do a new thing on your behalf. Somebody shall say new things. Somebody shall say new things. It is your personal desire. No one knows about that but you and I. Only for you and God. In the name of Jesus. You rose up in the morning and the Holy Ghost gave you that desire. You rose up in the morning before you get out of your house or you return home. Some unction were given to you and the Holy Ghost said, ask the Father. And the Father was given to you. And Jesus says, if you ask the Father in my name, somebody shall say, in the name of Jesus. Somebody shall say, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You ask the Father in my name for anything. Somebody shall say anything. Somebody shall say anything. Yeah. You ask the Father in my name for anything. And let me declare to you, when God says anything, God anything does not expire. When God says anything, he meant to say anything. Because it is the Holy Ghost that gave you that desire, and God will honor His Holy Ghost. God will honor the unction of the Holy 
Holy Ghost every time and at all times. Somebody shout say hallelujah. Say to neighbor, when God say anything, he meant anything because he favored you. Say neighbor, you are favor. Oh, come on, say neighbor, somebody. Say neighbor, you are favor. Shake it with somebody. Say neighbor, you are favor. Bye. 